Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Chris Holt and uh, I've been hired to uh, come in and assist you later in the season. I'm currently finishing up my own season here uh, in the KHL. This is my third season in the KHL including one all-star appearance and uh, I look forward to coming to Lincoln and, and helping you guys on a daily basis uh, after my season's over. Um, I took the liberty of watching a few of your games this season and uh, I pulled a few uh, videos off YouTube um, that are highlights uh, of those games. Uh, I think in both games that I saw, it's one, one of you playing. Uh, I will try and get uh, uh, some clips done of both of you, but um, as you watch this together, you can learn from each other. You don't need to necessarily watch your, yourself play. You can learn from the, from the things that the other goalie is doing, good things and, and things that can be tweaked. Um, uh, in these clips that I've cut for you, I have some goals against that we look at, uh, some great saves that you make, and, and also some saves that you make that I think can use a little adjusting to make yourself a little bit more consistent and efficient in your game. Um, you know, don't take anything personally. This is just, uh, this is just to help both of you, and, um, and, and hopefully it does. So uh, I look forward to meeting you guys in person, and I look forward to working with you on a relative daily basis. And um, enjoy the clips, and, uh, and I hope you guys learn something. All right, this is a clip uh, just on awareness. Obviously, this is uh, something that's probably going to only happen once a season, but um, you know, your, your defenseman is very close to you, and he does have a lot of pressure on him here, so being a little bit more aware and a little bit more ready is going to give you a better chance of uh, helping your defensive partner. All right, this next clip is a cross-crease pass for a goal. Uh, you decide to go paddle down here uh, when the puck's on the goal line. I'd like to see you keep that paddle up. It'll get your shoulders around quicker. You can go stick on stick with this backdoor guy. And you'll actually have a small chance of deflecting the pass coming across, although I wouldn't commit to that. Um, it just will uh, make you a little bit quicker moving laterally and uh, give you a, a slightly better chance of making this save. All right, now here's a situation that uh, I'd like to see you change a little bit. This guy comes around the net as if he's going to wrap it, but he decides to take it further into the corner, and you sort of decide to stay down in your full uh, full low coverage. Uh, this again makes you quite immobile and um, sacrifices you speed-wise. Uh, if he decides not to bring this to the front, I'd like to see you get into at least a one-knee position. Now in this goal, you're going to see kind of the same effect. Um, he throws it behind the net. Again, staying down and, and making it virtually impossible for you to get across and make this save. Uh, you have a lot of time here where you can get back to your feet and start moving across the net on your feet. And um, as I said before, it's just going to give you a little bit more mobility. It's going to give you more speed. And um, you'll have a better chance of making this save. It's pretty pointless to be sitting down there on your knees. Now here's a clip of a save, and a solid save at that. Um, but again, you kind of sacrifice that high blocker coverage a little prematurely. Um, keep in mind that when you go paddle down, you already have your leg pad down there and, and you're really just giving up that high coverage uh, when you don't need to. Here's another save. I just think you, uh, you really only need one knee here on this particular play. Um, you have the low ice covered and it'll give you the option to move across the net if that's a pass. All right, now this is a very solid play here. This is a great move across the net. You keep your stick up in a good position, and uh, you know it, it's it's a, it's a no-brainer. Here's another save right here that's just magnificent. You you, you stay strong. You, you got your angle there. You close up the armholes and you cover the rebound. Another great play here. You don't resort to the paddle down. You stay in standard position, and this is a very difficult save. This guy does a cutback on you. And uh, you stay with them very well. This is very impressive. All right. I really like the first save that you make here on the one-timer. Uh, your hands get a little bit sloppy on the recovery. Uh, you see your blocker come up off the ice, stick comes off the ice. Just stay calm there. And a nice relaxed push across the front of the crease will be good. This is a great save. I love how aggressive you are on this guy. You fully commit to him. You have help on your back door. Uh, from your defenseman there and you make a great save and hold the rebound. Another solid save, you make a nice recovery up to the top of your crease. This guy's got nothing to shoot at either, that's fantastic. All right, here you do a little fishing, you decide to go poke check on this. Um, this is a move that I've almost entirely removed from my game just because of the fact that it's very risky. Uh, although it can be effective, in the event that you miss, you leave yourself very vulnerable. And um, I think that it would be wise to consider just keeping your stick in standard grip. You could have reached this either way. 
um, but it'll leave you less vulnerable. Another solid move here. You keep your you, you keep your body real square. Um, you make a nice read across. You make a good lateral move, and uh, that's a real solid save. Here again, very solid. A nice read on the back door. Um, you know, you're there in plenty of time. You're ready. The the control of the rebound is good. Everything's nice there. All right, last clip here. You reach across your body here to catch this puck. I normally don't advise that, but this is a weak wrister, and if you have the athleticism to do it, you might as well go ahead and stop the play. I don't have a problem with it. Just make sure that if it's a more dangerous shot, you just blocker this one away. So that's it. Those are the clips I got uh, from what I could find uh, from the highlight videos. I think the two main things that you can take away from are uh, being a little bit more uh, picky and choosy where you use your paddle down. Um, I think it's being overused just a little bit. Uh, I'd, I'd reserve it to the uh, tight wraps and jam situations and, uh, and maybe the net front scrambles as well. Uh, I think on the cross eye stuff and the cross crease stuff, um, it's just going to make you a little bit slower. And especially when you're moving to your blocker side, it's going to really sacrifice all that high coverage. And um, you know, if you, if you just keep that stick up uh, and just go in a normal butterfly slide across the ice, it's, it's going to make you more consistent and it'll truthfully make you a little more fast. So. Um, so try and work on that. And then secondly is the um, staying down on the ground when a guy uh, goes behind the net and decides not to tight wrap. Um, if he doesn't come in real tight and try and jam you, try and get up at least to a one knee and give yourself that edge that you can make a, a more accurate push and a stronger push to wherever you're going to need to go. If you have the time, I definitely recommend getting all the way up. Um, it's just, again, it's even better and, and it just makes you a little bit more aware of what's going on than when you're just sitting on the ground. Um, so try and put these things into your game, try and put them into practice, um, talk with each other and uh, come up with some drills that can simulate these situations and you can try them out and see how they work. Um, obviously when I get there in person we can work on them and, and, and be a little bit more specific with it. Um, but these are just two easy things that you can try and practice and you can and, and try and uh, make them a habit and, and, uh, and if you disagree with anything please feel free to email me. Uh, I'm not going to put my email up on this video because I'm sure that a lot of my fans are going to watch this video and I don't need a, a huge influx of emails, but uh, your, your head coach has my email and uh, feed, please feel free to uh, send me messages anytime you want about situations that you're uh, not so comfortable with in games or, or things that you're struggling with in practice. Please don't hesitate to uh, describe it to me and I can hopefully um, uh, help you with a solution to that problem. So I look forward to meeting you guys in person again and uh, I'm hopefully going to be making these clips for you once a week or uh, however available the highlight videos are going to be on YouTube. So um, have a great week, stay focused and practice hard and, uh, and uh, we'll see you again soon.